Hi, my name is Ward Jean Stroud. We're going to do just a quick time lapse here today. I painted this scene in plain air with some friends. We showed up to paint and the mountains, the beautiful sisters mountains were obscured by clouds, but it actually turned out to be one of my favorite outings ever. So I'm going to use a photograph from that day to do this one today for you. And we're going to start by just laying in a basic drawing here, just a tree line, a horizon line. And uh, again, it's all about the cloud cover. So we'll start by putting in those clouds. I'm going to add a little bit of darks to the bottom of the clouds, just to give them a little dimension. Um, but I want them to be substantial because they're obscuring one of the most beautiful mountain ranges you'll ever see. Now, just using the side of my brush, I'm going to put in some just some basic rocks and ledges and things. And notice um, in the foothills there, I just dabbed off with a tissue, some lighter spots. That's where my trees will go in later. So I'm adding some worms here for dirt to kind of anchor everything onto the land and to make a difference between where the water and the, um, and the ground will be. And so right here, just starting now to put in the trees and I'm using a calligraphy brush, a Chinese calligraphy brush. I love to paint with these, they're very expressive. I mean, as you can see, I'm getting nice uh, separation in that foliage. And always remember when you paint the trees to leave little holes for the birds to fly through. You want to see some of that sky behind them. And then by adding the darks, it, it kind of weights those trees down. and gives them a little, uh, a lot of depth, actually. So just some basic reflections here. I, I just sketched in the water just a little bit, trying to keep it uh, pretty light. I, I want the emphasis to be on to the trees and, and the dark contrast there so I put that little tree in the foreground in um, I struggle a little bit with the reflections I'm going to take a, a little flat brush uh, after dropping some shadows in on the land there and I'm going to just kind of sketch back out lighten up just a little bit those reflections and yeah just keep it simple this is a half sheet it's on arches 140 pound cold press I'm using cheap Joe's um, American journey paints which I love we got it signed and what a joy it is to paint. I hope you'll be inspired by this. Go out and do some plein air painting or paint in your studio. And if you have any questions, hit me up at artofward.com.